I'm going to record on my phone so that I mean my camera. <laughs> Going to record on my camera so that I don't, let's not waste any time today. <laughs> Greetings, friends. We're not wasting any time today. What are these shenanigans? We don't need shenanigans. What we need is Milo Salato, <laughs> issue three. Is this a good way to start a video? Issue three is called Another World. You can see we've got Fly and Milo on the screen here. When we last left off, Milo was in a bit of a pickle <laughs> because uh, guess what? He's got stuff coming out of his hands now. It's because he used those grubby hands to touch the spark. In issue three, we start off this time with Major Minus once again addressing the Silencians. He says, citizens of Silencia, I come to you tonight with grave tidings and a heavy heart. What is he gonna say? Seditious acts of color by Sparker Rebels have increased nearly 800% in the past three months. Erdok patrols report an eater armada amassing on the fringes of our system. We cannot protect you. There are simply too many of them and too few of us. These eater numbers are unlike anything we've seen since the Great War of Color. If the eaters detect sufficient sparker activity in our city, they'll be drawn like brights to a flame. Silencia will be overrun. The Erdox will be forced to abandon Silencia. Um, no one likes that. None of the Silencians like that because they're all afraid because they've been taught to be afraid of the eaters. But the eaters, hmm, might be a lie. <laughs> so as this broadcast is happening. Milo's wandering the streets trying not to get caught <laughs> and but also trying not to look suspicious which he's not doing a great job of. He definitely looks suspicious but because he's having these troubles he needs to go talk to his best friend Rex who doesn't help him at all. Actually Rex is very much not on Milo's side <laughs> in all of this. As soon as he sees the spark come out of Milo's hand, he's like, dude, you're done for. <laughs> we'll just say Rex is not a very good best friend. I mean, Milo does tell him that he touched the spark without his gloves on, and Rex appropriately freaks out <laughs> and wonders, Milo, what were you thinking? Because we have to think, we have to ask that too, Milo, why would you touch it? <laughs> Rex actually advises Milo that he turned himself in, which Milo is not fond of, but Rex informs him, Milo, if you don't turn yourself in, I will turn you in. So Rex is really no help. Milo runs off. Rex is like, if you run, I'm not protecting you. And Milo ends up going like all through the city. He goes in through a vent. <laughs> I don't know what, why he needed to do that, but he did. And he ends up on the rooftop where he saw Fly disappear into the Sparker's hideout. So he opens the latch and sneaks down and ends up in the Sparker hideout. Uh, he definitely looks suspicious dressed in his silencer outfit, but he shows them that he's got the spark and so they let him in. And then he, he walks in, there's a bunch of people there. And they are also suspicious of him because he's wearing a silencer uniform. <laughs> and there's really going to be a lot of questioning of Milo. Whose side is he on? Well, I think he's on Milo's side, but <laughs> the silencers are suspicious of him. The sparkers are suspicious of him. The only person not suspicious of him is himself, I think. In this hideout, there's like tons of sparks all around. They want to know that Milo is not spying on them <laughs> so they they make him create a spark to prove that he can and it's like the little like little kid style drawings where it's like a stick figure in front of a house I mean actually there's some depth to this house there's some perspective going on they laughed at him but I think it's like a little artistic 
And he got mad. <laughs> and he kind of like exploded Sparks. And that shut them up, I think. The leader, Fly, we finally get to meet her and see her fully. And she comes in and takes Milo away and shows him this spark, which is the very first spark. And it's familiar. It's the rocket ship that he had as a kid and still has as an adult. And actually it says hurts like heaven, but it's kind of faded. A lot of it is faded. Fly tells Milo about who created this, the car kids, which we know are his parents. <laughs> At least two of the members of the car kids were Milo's parents, Aiko and Layla. We learned that in the Hurts Like Heaven video. Milo is still a little skeptical of everything because he's, you know, been brainwashed <laughs> like everyone else. But Fly tells him, if the eaters do come, we're better off defending ourselves than relying on the Erdox, which I think is very fair because what have the Erdox done really? Nothing. And she kind of like inspires him, tells him that like, we were all slaves to the hypno feed once and now we're here and we're making beautiful art, and everything's good, and we're independent. We don't need the Erdogs because they suck. So <laughs> she's kind of, like, really starting to convince Milo to flip sides and potentially double-cross the silencers, double-cross Major Minus. But as soon as he seems about to accept, well, then we see... The rest of the silencers have found Milo in the hideout. Well, they found the hideout, and they're about to go in. That's where we get to be continued. That's it, issue three. It went very fast. <laughs> this is a very quick issue. Some of these issues go really fast because we don't have a lot of exposition anymore. It's just the action, and let me tell you, the action is gonna ramp up in these next few issues. So the next one, issue four, Milo's gonna get caught. <laughs> There's no way around that. Um, so stay tuned for issue four. And thank you for joining me here today for issue three. I have two other videos in this series so far, breaking down the first two issues of the Milo Salato comics going to continue to make them. I have a playlist now for those since I have enough videos to make a playlist. So you can check that playlist out if you haven't seen them yet or you want to rewatch. I also have a video about Milo Zyloto comparing the album to the comics that you can check out. And I'm going to be making, after this series, some videos about music of the spheres. All right. So if you are interested in that, if you want to catch those when they come out, you can subscribe you can also like do things like like this video and comment on it and share it. Those are helpful things. <laughs> um, but thank you for joining me here today. I'm very excited to get to the next issue and I hope to see you then. Peace out.